Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and I help people navigate through their awakening process. And in this video, I'm going to discuss negative entities, negative energy, negative beings. As crazy as that might sound, some people who go through an awakening have actual legitimate experience with them. And it's funny, I shot a video about this just the other day. And then I started talking to a bunch of my subscribers and during these like coaching sessions and multiple, several of them were like almost hesitant to ask. They're like, hey Vic, man, I have this question, you know, I'm experiencing these like negative entities, negative beings. They're like, there are so many people seem to be experiencing them. And ironically, I, I told them like, dude, I just shot a video about this like two days ago. It'll be up in a couple days. But I have, having talked to them, I wanted to make, this is like the second rendition of the video, I wanted to make it better. I'm, I almost made it a little bit too comical and more entertaining rather than informative. I wanted to make this video a little bit more comprehensive with how to actually deal with them. It is weird and bizarre that one has the possibility of experiencing negative beings in their earthly experience here as they awaken, but it does happen. And I don't know about you, but I was given no roadmap for how to deal with them. And they, it can be pretty damn scary the first couple times. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you three practical things that you can do to deal with these freaking negative beings of yours. So real quick, for those of you who haven't experienced this and are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, I'm going to kind of give you an example of what I mean by this. So I would say very shortly after I started my, I'll call it my ascension, where I, I had these energy surges and a sudden awareness that the planet's shifting dimensions and there's this big mass awakening going on and I'm part of it, I'm here to help, etc. Once I came into all the information, I started having these, what I wouldn't really call them dreams, I don't think that's the most accurate way to describe them. It was every time I fell asleep, it was as if I went somewhere, I was always lucid. So it was always like I knew I was dreaming. And these places I went were incredibly freaky and scary and dark and just had a pulsing aura of demonic, psychotic, freaky ass energy. And as you might expect, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, indigenous creatures of such a realm, you could expect them. They're not, they're not, they weren't very pleasant to deal with. There were always these scary, astral negative types of beings there and they did in fact as you might expect have ill intentions they tried to scare me they tried to like get a hold of me sort of beat me up and this is sort of a even though it was in like the dream state a pretty physical experience and pretty horrifying at the time i didn't know i could just wake myself up i didn't know what i know now and these freaking assholes taunted me and, and haunted my dreams essentially and it wasn't just once in a while, it was, it was like a span of several days where every single time I fell asleep, lo and behold, I'd pop into this dimension where these creepy assholes were there waiting for me to get me. And what do you do? What, 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 is, what does someone do in this situation? They go to the doctor? You're crazy. Take some Valium. No, that's not, do you talk to a psychiatrist? More Valium. No. I didn't know, so I did what any logical person would do. I went on YouTube. And I looked up and sure enough, there was this kid and he talked about what he did. And I'll get into that in a minute. But that's essentially the experience you could have. And sometimes, take this for what you will, you might even be able to sense and sometimes even perceive the presence of these types of beings and this type of darker energy in your waking state. As this went on during that few day period, as I mentioned, I had these these beings and energy, this sort of, <laughs> they sort of like took over my house. I swear to God, they, that, my house was like haunted for a while. I could sense and oftentimes actually see these blobs of negative beings and I could kind of feel them enter me in a sense and kind of suck out my energy and just fill my body with intense, scary fear energy. And it was an incredibly dark and scary ass experience. Now, if that hasn't happened to you, it doesn't have to happen to you. It's what happened to me. And I would never even make a video like this because I don't want to put plant fearful seeds in people's heads because that doesn't nobody any good. Um, but coming to find that so many of you are actually experiencing this, I, I feel obligated to share my solutions with you. And that's what I'm going to do now. Three ways to deal with these pricks. 
Number one is choose your magic. Pick your magic. Pick whatever little tool or technique or prayer or mantra or whatever um, you believe will be of help. Maybe saying some Hail Marys you know, or saying some prayers to God or Jesus or getting like a cross. I went and I got some sage spray. Sage is like something people use to uh, clear away negative energy. My wife, when the kids have nightmares, she pours, I don't know if it's a certain type of salt, but salt in a bowl and she puts it under their bed or something. And that's supposed to kind of absorb the negative energy. Do it. I'm not going to try to convince you that any of those things have any effect. Pick one that you believe will work and that's what will work. That's what I did. I, I chose sage. Indians have been using sage for thousands of years for such purposes. and. It was the one that seemed to me the most, <laughs> I believed it enough, and it had a dramatic effect. I saged my whole house, and I could actually discern and feel the energy lift and get a lot better. So I would say pick something like that. Number two is stand your ground and don't freak out. Don't flip out. Don't run away. Because as your fear grows, so too does their power and their appearance becomes more gruesome and the experience becomes more solidified. It's only the people who really act like a basket case, as you could honestly sympathize with them, but just don't do that, man. And I'll tell you why in number three. That might seem like an impossible test. Well, how do you not stand up to them, man? They're scary. There's nowhere to run. They're right there like in the, uh, you know, uh, in another plane just kind of bridging dimensions coming at you. What the hell do you do in this situation? How do you not freak out, Vic? Well, I'll tell you why in number three. Number three is to know they are not really that scary. You could either take my word for it and stand up to them and look at them with more, uh, more of an objective point of view rather than from that fearful initial what the hell is happening sort of mindset. Or you'll just experience them enough time, just like I did, where you inevitably eventually realize that it never escalates beyond anything that, that that's really all that earth shattering or that big of a deal. And you just start to, it just kind of happens naturally. And you see them for what they are, which are more like um, trickster, adolescent, immature, unevolved, gumpy types of beings. They're, they're not powerful at all, in fact. And the only thing they can, the only way they can seem powerful is when you freak out big time. It's kind of like this. If I was to enter your room in the still of night, you know, two, three in the morning, you've been asleep a while, you think you're alone, and I had this real creepy mask on, and I shake you out of bed, and you don't know I'm there, you don't know who I am, and all you see is this freaking mask and it just scares the shit out of you. It scares the bejesus out of you. That would be horrifying for anybody, obviously. Or if it was broad daylight, you knew me, we are good buddies, and I'm, I'm like 10 feet away, we'll say, and it's, it's again, it's daylight, I'm like waving, hey, hey, I got this mask, I'm showing you this silly mask. I put the mask on, and I just kind of jump around like a goofball, ha ha. It's the same guy, the same mask, but the experience is dramatically different. You're not going to be f afraid, certainly not terrified at that second scenario, obviously. And it's the same exact thing, fundamentally. And you could choose to experience it that way. For what the way it worked for me is exactly as I said. In this video I watched on YouTube, this kid said, you got to stand up to him. He told me he fought them and th threw him out his window or something. Well, all right, so I tried it. Because every time it would happen previously, I would try to wake myself up and I would just panic. I would freak out, you know. But I was like, no, okay. And I just kind of like, I was afraid, but I was like, what? You know, I like pretended like I wasn't afraid. And as they like were in my room, I stood up to them. And sure enough, it ran out this, this one situation. I, God, I know how crazy this sounds. Um, and if you don't relate to this, don't worry. <laughs> Be glad. But some of you will, and that's why I'm going to put myself out there and make, make such a wacky video. But anyway... I was sitting there and I stood up to them and they ran away. And as they ran away, I realized how like the way I used to describe it at the time was pathetic. Not to be insulting, but that was like my objective point of view. They seemed pathetic in the sense of like sad, pathetic, like almost harmless types of like younger soul type beings. And it skimpered out my room. 
And ever since that time, ever since that experience, when I stood up to them and saw them for what they were, I haven't had an issue since. I've had them come. They come some just recently. That's why I was going to make this video. This happened to me not too long ago. I was sleeping and the exact same thing happened where sometimes the way it happens is when you fall asleep, you don't realize you're sleeping. It seems like you're still in your own room. Or again, I had the times when I went to those crazy realms, but it can happen many different ways. It's just my own, my own experience here. But I would fall asleep and I wouldn't know I'd be sleeping. And all of a sudden, these freaking things would pop out at me. Um, and that's kind of what happened to me just the other night. But now it's like almost like, what? What are you going to do, buddy? I just ignore them. And they're there. And then I wake up. And the way it was for me recently, I went back to sleep several times. And every night, every dream was like that. But I wasn't, I didn't give a shit. I didn't care. I see it now. I honestly see it as a sign of progress. I see it as me either, because I still haven't determined what I really believe in. It's either me pressing through inner boundaries at a really powerful rate. And uh, either there's actual beings who don't want people to truly wake up and they're there to like try to scare me and keep me down. Or it very well obviously could be just a, just a experience, just a projection of my own fears as they're coming out of me. I temporarily experience them in this way because we're more open to these types of experiences as these energies continue to shift our consciousness. It just, it's, it's experienced more in a more subtle way, thankfully, rather than me having a car accident or some kind of physical crazy sort of situation. So you can choose to look at it any way you want. But again, they're not that scary. They really can affect you. But I did make this video because there, in the past, there have been people to contact, have contacted me very frantic and very fearful. And they, they really believe they, they're being seriously haunted. And these they're giving their power away to these other beings and they're, they're allowing them to just, you know, straight up meddle in and just basically wreak havoc in their life. And you don't have to let it get to that point. You don't have to let it escalate to that point. They're not that scary. It's only your fear that binds you to the experience. And one way or another, you're going to come to that realization. And once you realize that you can stand up to scary evil beings, it, or not, or your own self, your own deep fears that most people lock away, yet you are allowing to come up. Once you realize that you can stand up to that, then you are freaking unstoppable. You are untouchable. And there's nothing that can scare you. And overall, regardless of how it transpires, regardless if you let it escalate or not, regardless if you take my advice or not, it's going to overall be a positive and empowering and uplifting experience for you. And that is why you drew it into your life because you are ready to come into an extremely powerful state of self-mastery and self-empowerment. And that's why these wild challenges are flailing at you at warp speed. So be tough. Stand up to them and own your power.